What's up Star Wars fans, today I want to talk about Dark Side Ahsoka Tano. That's right, we'll talk about when Ahsoka Tano was corrupted to the Dark Side, when she was tempted to the Dark Side, and ultimately why Ahsoka didn't follow her master into the darkness. But hey, if you love Star Wars and speculation, then hit that subscribe button and come back again soon for more. But getting back on track here, during Season 3 of Star Wars The Clone Wars, we get the incredible story known as the Mortis Arc. Obi-Wan Kenobi Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano come across a huge object in space, and when they investigate, they are introduced to what seems to be three Force Gods, the Father, the Son, and the Daughter. Now, the Daughter represents the light side of the Force, the Son represents the dark side of the Force, and the Father represents the balance between the two. So it probably comes as no shock that the Son is the one to corrupt Ahsoka Tano to the dark side. But what's really important to understand here is that Ahsoka never chooses to join the dark side. The sun, assuming the form of a small creature, actually bites Ahsoka and it's as if she's infected with the dark side. She has these crazy yellow eyes and veins of darkness flowing all over her skin. But one of the most interesting things that we learn from Ahsoka during her corruption to the dark side is that she absolutely hates the nickname Snips. Or at least that's what she tells Anakin while she's corrupted by the sun. As I detailed in a recent video about Ahsoka's death, once she has served her purpose, she's actually killed by the sun. That said, this certainly wasn't Ahsoka Tano's only dark side moment. One could argue that in Star Wars Rebels, Ahsoka Tano is not only tempted to the dark side, but also draws on the dark side. When Ahsoka Tano and Darth Vader meet on Malachor, Vader's first words are, We need not be adversaries. The Emperor will show you mercy if you tell me where the remaining Jedi can be found. And this certainly comes across that Darth Vader is trying to pull Ahsoka Tano to the dark side, and that he'd almost love to have Ahsoka with him once again. Although certainly from this scene, it doesn't seem that Ahsoka Tano even takes a moment to even consider joining Darth Vader and the Emperor. No, she is absolutely determined to get her revenge. Unlike Luke Skywalker, who is somehow able to see the humanity left in Darth Vader, Ahsoka only wants to destroy Vader, taking vengeance for her former master. Which, ironically, is her embracing more of the dark side. As Vader says, revenge is not the Jedi way. And so, even though Ahsoka doesn't join Darth Vader and become a Sith herself, she does for this short time embrace the dark side, and in a moment of weakness uses her anger to fuel the fight versus Vader. If you contrast this with the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader duel in the Kenobi series, Obi-Wan Kenobi is able to let go of his anger and guilt from the past in Anakin Skywalker and embrace the light side by gaining hope from young Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. Unfortunately, Ahsoka isn't able to do this when she confronts Darth Vader, she still has a lot of guilt left of leaving Anakin Skywalker, and no doubt blames herself in part for Anakin falling to the dark side. And so we don't necessarily get dark side Ahsoka, but nonetheless I believe Ahsoka does draw on the dark side in this fight on Malachor versus Vader. That said, another really interesting question is why doesn't Ahsoka follow Anakin Skywalker to the dark side? I mean, Anakin Skywalker had so much influence on Ahsoka Tano as her master? Why isn't Ahsoka easily corrupted to the dark side? Why doesn't she become a Sith like her master did? I mean, after all, Ahsoka Tano is very similar to Anakin Skywalker. She's certainly not someone to sit around and contemplate things. She jumps in with full force and takes action. And it's certainly not a stretch to say that Anakin and Ahsoka were both reckless at certain points in their stories. And of course, the fact that they are both characters of action and at times reckless, while well, this brought Ahsoka Tano and Anakin Skywalker together. So again, why didn't we get Dark Side Ahsoka Tano? Why didn't Ahsoka become a Sith? And well, I think the answer to that question is very complicated, but the big one being that Ahsoka Tano had many other influences on her as a young person. And first and foremost of those was no doubt Padme Amidala, a strong female character that was always willing to help others, and sought out peace before using conflict in any situation. So the fact that Ahsoka also had this older female mentor, well that I believe helped keep her grounded in the light side. That said, another big reason that Anakin fell to the dark side and Ahsoka didn't follow is the fact that Darth Sidious was 
slowly corrupting and influencing Anakin Skywalker. Darth Sidious in the end was only trying to kill Ahsoka Tano because he knew that she was a support to Anakin and someone that would prevent him from falling to the dark side and becoming the Emperor's apprentice. But that aside, there's also the fact that Anakin Skywalker was known as the Chosen One. That he was destined to one day become this great Jedi, that is what Qui-Gon Jinn believed and that is why Obi-Wan Kenobi trained Anakin Skywalker. This no doubt had some major influence on the psyche of Anakin. And we can see it both in the Clone Wars animation series as well as the prequel movies. Anakin knew that he was going to be a great Jedi, but he didn't have the patience to wait for that power. He wanted to be a powerful Jedi, he wanted to be a master level Jedi, and he just wasn't willing to wait for that to happen. In contrast, Ahsoka may have had some pressure on her as the apprentice to the Chosen One, but she was never considered to be the Chosen One, she was never supposed to be the one to destroy the Sith, and she also didn't have that hunger for power like Anakin did. That said, a strong theme in Star Wars is the importance for a young person to be supported by their family, whether that's a found family or friends, it really doesn't matter. And for much of her life, Ahsoka had a lot of support in many other Jedi to look up to other than Anakin Skywalker within the Jedi Order. And one of those was absolutely Obi-Wan Kenobi. Throughout the Clone Wars series, we see Obi-Wan and Kenobi teaming up on many different missions, and of course, Ahsoka Tano is along for the ride. So in a way, Obi-Wan Kenobi was just as much a master to Ahsoka as Anakin Skywalker was. Add to this the fact that Plo Koon and Ahsoka had a special bond because Plo Koon was the one that found Ahsoka and brought her to the Jedi Order, and so it's easy to see that there were many different influences on Ahsoka, not just Anakin Skywalker. But here's the thing, Anakin Skywalker himself was a good person. I don't believe that even though Ahsoka Tano spent a lot of time with Anakin Skywalker, that would be what corrupts her to the dark side. That Anakin Skywalker was ultimately a good person, and that what George was trying to get across is that good people can make bad decisions that lead them down a very bad path. And ultimately, that's what happens with Anakin Skywalker. He is corrupted and forced into this poor choice by a very powerful Sith Lord in Emperor Palpatine, aka Darth Sidious, and when Anakin steps in to defend the Emperor against Mace Windu, he makes that horrible decision that sends him down that very dark path. Therefore, although Anakin does fall to the dark side, Ahsoka as her time as Anakin's Padawan brought out and experienced the best of Anakin, the good side of this character, and so ultimately we didn't get a dark side Ahsoka for all of these reasons, including including the fact that Anakin was very much a good person who made just a few poor choices that led him down a very dark path. But hey Star Wars fans, if you want to learn more about why Ahsoka didn't fall to the dark side, there's definitely one more reason we didn't get dark side Ahsoka and you can find that in my video here in the cards. It's titled, How Does Ahsoka Die? That said, I'm Mike, I look forward to your comments, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.